Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week is unintentionally going to be a controversial one, I think. And I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't like Infiltrator. And the reason for that, ironically, is because I think the presets are too good. And what I mean by that is that you can load any sound you want into it and the output, depending on the preset, is basically the same. So I've never understood why I would spend hours making the perfect sound only for Infiltrator to completely destroy it in a good way, if that makes sense. And then the interface haven't really felt too inviting to actually make a preset with, but everyone raves about it. I know I'm the anomaly. So let's change that today. So let's see if I can become converted to Infiltrator like everyone else in the Psytrance community seems to be. So I have here just a 16 bar kick and bass loop. Nothing special whatsoever. I'm just gonna play this back for you. Nothing special. But as I said, this is intro, so I want to add a bit of movement to that before it drops into the main track. So I have Infiltrator loaded up. It's just an init preset for now. And the first thing I'm going to do is probably the most boring one, and that is add a bit of EQ. So the typical high and low pass filter to open up as the kick progresses. So let's go to number 10. We're going to make this 16 bars because that's the length of our kick and bass loop. Let's start with a low pass. And as I said, we want it 16. So let's turn this up at the end of 16. Let's make it unipolar, turn the cutoff down, and then we'll increase the modulation. Let's see if this sounds how we expect. Yep, that's working, it's opening up. And let's now do the same for nine, except the opposite. We're gonna make that a high pass filter. Unipolar, cutoff down, modulation up. And we should start with nothing really. That's way too fast. We want that to be also 16 bars like so. Let's start again. That seems to be working. Now let's get into the fun stuff. And I think I want to have like a kind of stretching, pulling kind of kick and bass loop. So let's go to, I saw one here, stretch. Once again, let's make this 16 bars. We're going to choose a random shape, one of the random wiggly ones. Let's turn the modulation depth up. Again, unipolar. Let's have a listen to what this one sounds like. I want it to be more. More changeable than that. So that's kind of getting there. Let's add another one. This one is going to be envelope two and let's put this on. Well, let's see what grain rate sounds like first. Yes, I think that's going to sound good. Let's add this, no, sorry, to grain rate. Turn this one up, obviously. And once again, we'll add a random shape. I don't know, like, that perhaps, obviously 116 again. entirely happy with that one but let's keep it like that for now so 
So obviously at the end of that 16, actually 15, it drops to silence because there's nothing there. There's nothing programmed there. So let's move the kick and so the high pass and low pass down a couple. And then in slot nine, let's add a delay. This one definitely needs to be 16 bars. And then we're going to automate the mix here. So 16 bars on the envelope two again, like so. Let's turn this down to zero. And then the depth we will turn up to 50, like so. And then we will turn the envelope up at the end of the, or roughly around there towards the end of the 15. Like so, there. Maybe a bit more. Let's have a listen. Feedback up. Let's change this to one eight. Okay, we think we're getting there. Let's add now a reverb on the last one. Once again, 116, but that needs to be on envelope two. Envelope two, mix, 116, mix down, and then we're going to turn the depth up once again to around 50%. Let's make this one a more gradual ramp up. Have it full 50% around there. Okay, that's sounded good. Let's just check the automation. I think I have it already turning off at the end of the first kick, so that's good. We'll start of the first kick. So that seems to be working. Let's see what else we can add. Let's go reverse. Sounds intriguing. Put that before everything. Let's see what else we can add. Let's go, which one now? Loop. Let's maybe put this on mix so it's not so constant. I mean envelope 2 on mix. And then once again we'll choose one of the random shapes. Three bars, why not?
So let's have a listen back now. Let's turn on maybe some other elements. I'm going to turn off the Atmos. I think that'll be a bit distracting. So yeah, I think that's working. So has my verdict changed? Yes, a little bit. I think the trick is to stay away from the presets and to roll your own. I still don't think the interface is the best, but I think that will just come with experience and using it a bit more. So thanks for watching and hopefully you'll see Infiltrator in future videos. We'll see you then. Bye.